Okay, so I've just had a meeting with the structural engineer. Um, so he came, took all these measurements and stuff and looked at the size of the beams and everything and then, then they can work out what span they can you know, be with the rating of an office or anything like that. So he's come back to me and he said that the, that the beams that, that um, you know, Harold's mate has used and totally, totally legit, but I can't ask this guy anymore because apparently he's passed away. The beams he's used, the maximum span you can have is two meters, 300, okay? Now down in the office space down below, that is four meters, 700, okay? So he's exceeded it by double, okay? Which isn't that safe, but then to make matters even worse, you can see stamped on the actual beams, it says non-structural pine or you know, non-structural wood. So you're not even meant to use the stuff, you know? So he's just, yeah, slapped up this mezzanine. Um, so I don't know, it's, it's uh, you know, now I know this information and you know, do I feel right having an office downstairs? What if, what if it does collapse down, you know, one day on, on, you know, on one of my staff members or something? So that's, that's concerned me a bit. Um, my brother-in-law Brendo's, um, he's, he's come out and had a look, I told the situation and he was like, look, it's pretty hard to fix this, you know, cause you gotta try and, you know, put stuff in and it's just gonna make a mess. So he's just suggested, what if we just <laughs> rip the whole floor down and then start again, which is gonna cost a bit of money, a lot of money actually, but at least then the downstairs area, we can make it, you know, like put in a proper, you know, cause all this has got to go to council now and council is sort of, you know, to say that if you're gonna do, you know, if you build a new warehouse or you do any modifications, you really should have a disabled toilet. You know, so if you do, you know, employ someone with a wheelchair later on in the future, they've got access to a toilet and stuff, which is, which is fair enough, okay? Like all the new all the new ones have that as well. So that gives us the opportunity. We can, you know, put in a nice disabled toilet and also, you know, a separate toilet for females if we want until we can adjust it a little bit and then, you know, put in a nicer kitchen and stuff. And then the upstairs, at least, at least I'll be able to sleep well at night because, you know, it's going to be legit. Anyway, um, got some good ideas down in the... Um, uh, office as well, so I'll, I'll show you that now what I'm thinking of. I can totally understand why my wife um, yeah, didn't like this office, how dark and dreary, you know, dreary it is. You know, you, you know your, your office staff sitting in, a, in an office like this for you know, six, seven hours a day, um, and that's why she was hating on it a little bit. And you can see there's got a, you know, a solid door and then a window. And what I like uh, is to have a a doorway straight out to the warehouse in there so the guys can come in and go straight out through the warehouse and pick up the jet or pick up any tools and stuff and not have to come through the office if, if they don't want to. Um, so what I was thinking of is putting a, a glass door with a window where that window is and then making this solid door a just a full full glass and you can really see the difference. I'll show you now. So so this is with the door closed, okay? Now if I, if I I'll, I'll actually I'll put it on this side. Okay, watch this now. As soon as I open this door here, I'll just unlock it. As soon as I open the door, see how much light lets into the office, you know? So imagine how that would be. It'd just be, just be so much so much lighter, you know, just by having having that, you know, a window there. And obviously, you know, we're gonna have the lights on most of the time anyway, but you can really see how how nice that, that makes, just by having that door open again, you know? It just throws the light back into the, just about the whole office. So that's what I'll, that's, that's what I think I'll try and do is just put a, a glass door there to go in and then the, the guys can go through here, out, out the warehouse here and then go around and pick up the jet or, or do any work. And then we'll just make that a, a full on window there and maybe just a little side awning window or something along there. So anyway, that's, that's probably one of the ideas we're doing because it's, you know, this whole ceiling and stuff looks like it's gonna come down now. Um, then we can you know, sort of mix stuff up a bit. So anyway. That's the plan so far, guys. So I've sat down with an architect friend of mine to go through um, some of the options, and because uh, I wanted a kitchen and a separate bathroom for the, for the females to use and stuff. Um, this way's car up. As you can see, here's a roller door. Um, so we're going to change that front window, make it um, you know a glass door with another glass window next to it. Change this over to a glass um, window, so it lets a lot of light into the office. We'll put a a door just here for the warehouse uh, so the guys can come in and go around and pick up their jets and not have to come through the office all the time. Um, so we'll probably have a little seating area. We'll put the desk where we feel like it once we're, we're all sort of sorted. But you can see down here, it, it will put a, a female toilet. Uh, sorry, we'll put a female toilet in here with a, you know, 
a disabled toilet that you can enter from the warehouse at the back here with a big kitchen with a you know dishwasher fridge and a and an oven for you know cooking muffins or whatever with a little seating area too for for the staff to sit at and so yeah if you're in the warehouse you can come through into the kitchen you can use the females you can use the blokes uh, you know disabled toilet if you need to have a shower or anything like that so that's roughly what we got but obviously things are things will have to change as we go along because once we get the mezzanine now we'll, we'll know a bit more about what's got to happen